In this video, we're going to discuss Ostinato, which is a network traffic generator and analyzer. Ostinato is a fantastic piece of software. It allows you to craft packets, generate traffic and analyze them using a GUI. You can craft and send packets of several streams with different protocols at different rates. So rather than capturing traffic off the wire, you can generate traffic. Now you can use Ostinato to capture traffic off the wire, but its biggest benefit, I think, is the fact that it can generate traffic. So you can generate traffic and test your GNS3 topologies. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to download Ostinato, how to configure it, and then generate traffic in your GNS3 topologies. In this example, I'm using GNS3 version 2 on a Mac, but the same process could be used if you're installing on a Windows PC. So the first thing you need to do is go to the GNS3 website, go to Marketplace, Appliances, and search for Ostinato. Click the Ostinato drone and click Download Template. In GNS3, go to File, Import Appliance, select the Ostinato appliance and click Open. We're told that the appliance will be available in the guest category. Bernard is the maintainer. It has experimental status, KVM is allowed, and the architecture is I386. I'm gonna click Next. As is true for most GNS3 appliances, we wanna run this on the GNS3 VM. So that's the option I'm gonna use and click Next. We're told that the server requirements are okay, so I'm gonna click Next. Now we're missing the files. So select the QCOW2 file and click Download. That opens up a web browser and the QCOW file is downloaded. So that's now downloaded to my local hard drive. I'll click Refresh and we are told now that Ostionato 0.8 can be installed. So I'm gonna click Next. We asked whether we wanna install the appliance. I'm gonna say yes. QMU settings are displayed. I'm gonna stay with the defaults and click Next. A summary of the appliance is displayed. Notice the console type is VNC. If you're using a Mac, make sure that you're using chicken of the VNC if you have problems with your VNC connections. Have a look at my other videos where I explain how to use chicken of the VNC. The amount of RAM used is 256 meg. Some other options are displayed. I'm gonna click next. Now this is important. We are told to use interfaces starting with ethernet one as traffic interfaces. Ethernet zero is only for the optional management of the server and drone. We're not gonna use that here, so I'm gonna click finish and use Ethernet 1. I'm told that the appliance is installed. So now we have Ostionado available as an appliance. In my topology, what I'll do is add a iOS V layer 2 switch, add another Ostionado PC, and to build a larger topology, I'll add some routers to the topology and then I'll connect the devices. Notice I need to use Ethernet 1, not Ethernet 0. So I simply connect the devices to the topology as I would do normally in GNS3. You can make the picture look pretty. I'm not gonna worry too much about that here. I'm, I'm simply gonna get the devices started up. So I'll click Start to boot the devices up. And what I'll do is open up a console to the devices. So here's Ostionado 2. And here's Ostionado 1. Now for this demonstration, I'm only going to concentrate on the first PC. So I'm going to open up Ostionado. By default, there's a port group of port group 0. 
and we have the first Ethernet interface in that port group. That's the one that we're gonna use. Now the interface can be a bit difficult to get used to initially. What we're gonna do is go to File and create a new stream. I'm gonna give it a name such as GNS3 Stream 1 and then I'm gonna double click on this cog. Now here you have many options. You can select a layer one information, select your VLAN information, select a layer two. I'm gonna use ethernet two as the frame type. I'm gonna use IP version four and I'll select TCP as the layer four protocol. In the protocol data, what I'll do now is forge a MAC address of a bunch of twos, and I'll set the source MAC address to a bunch of ones. This is the powerful thing about this application. You can forge, if you like, or create, if you prefer, different types of frames that you send into the network. You can change variable fields. You can change the number of packets that you send. I'm gonna send a thousand packets at one packet per second. So this is what our packet looks like. Source MAC address is a bunch of ones. Destination MAC address is a bunch of twos. It's gonna be an ethernet two frame with X0800 referencing IP version four in the ethernet two header. So it's IP version four, protocol type is six. In other words, it's TCP. So we see TCP here. We can see the source and destination port numbers. None of the flags are set. And in the data, we just have a bunch of zeros. So I'm gonna click OK. Now don't miss the step. You must click Apply. If you don't see that, click some of these options on the left-hand side. You must click Apply. And then you must select your interface. Notice here we're receiving frames on the port 00 interface, in other words, Ethernet 1. So you can see that frames have already been received. And what I'm gonna do now is click play to start sending frames into the network. So you can see that frames are already being sent, four, five, six, seven frames are being sent. And what I can do now is capture those frames in Wireshark So if we filter for TCP frames, you'll be able to see the frames that we've created. So there's the source MAC address, destination MAC address, protocol. Protocol is IP version four. We didn't specify the source IP address and destination IP address in the frame, so they're shown as zeros. But you can see that the protocol type is TCP. We can see TCP information, and then we can see the data that we created. So it was as simple as that to get traffic generated into the network. I hope you found this video useful. If it's been of benefit to you, please like it, and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.